Look, first of all, you have to understand that we don't occupy Gaza. And that is really the biggest misconception that I'm fighting with with the press the whole time. We left Gaza in 2005. They've had elections. It. They've had two different governments. The Hamas is the elected government of the people of Gaza. I mean, they elected them once, of course. It's one vote, one, one man, one time, because they're exactly like Iran. They got elected and that was that. Um, and, and, and Hamas are ISIS. Hamas are Iran. Hamas throw LGBTQ people off rooftops. They kill Fatah. They kill their political opponents. They, they lock up journalists. That's what you're dealing with. You're not dealing with a normal, uh, government. You're dealing with people who want to bring the world back 500 years and make no bones about the fact that they don't want any peaceful resolution with Israel. It's in their charter. They want the complete annihilation of Israel. Now, when you have a government like that that is holding its own people hostage, what do you think the proportional response for Israel should be? Shouldn't it be the dismantling of that regime, which is threatening our very existence? What would the UK do if its next door neighbor was throwing rockets, attacked and took hostages and killed thousands of people? There's only nine million people in this country. If you compare the attack of today with American numbers, it would have been meant a 9-11 kill 